Hey, City View Church, welcome to our Thursday morning mission highlight. This is a brand new segment that we're doing here at City View Church. We're excited that you're able to join us today, and today uh, we actually get to hear from some great missionary friends of ours, Jason and Cindy Friend. But before we get to them, I just want to let you know that as a church, we support over 100 missionaries or missionary organizations right here in the U.S. and around this world. We're standing here at the Legacy Center International today. Right behind me is the Globe, and we wanted to film here for our first segment just to represent the world that we want to continue to reach for Jesus Christ. And so that's why Thursday mornings we want, to, we want you to hear from our missionaries that we're supporting who we're partnering with to reach this world for Christ. And so again, we want to say thank you for joining us. You know what? Enjoy and enjoy just hearing from Jason and Cindy and what God is doing in and through them as missionary evangelists to the world. This is a very special message to all of our friends at City View Church in San Diego. We love you and we thank you for your wonderful commitment to missions and to reaching the lost around the world. Since the time we've partnered together, that is to say, San Diego First Assembly, now City View, to the present day with Jason and Cindy Friend, we have seen more than 700,000 people give their lives to Christ. We have proclaimed the gospel in open air meetings, public evangelistic events to more than 7 million people. We've seen hundreds of thousands of people delivered, hundreds of thousands of people healed, and we've seen tremendous breakthroughs, not only in Argentina, obviously in Costa Rica where we began, El Salvador, Guatemala, but now most recently in Cuba. God is doing some amazing things in that country. And before I tell you about that, over the last six months during this time when we had to suffer through this pandemic, the Lord has opened some wonderful, wonderful opportunities. Easter morning, we had a bilingual service via Facebook Live and we had 32,000 people watching with hundreds of people giving their lives to Christ all around the globe. It was the first time that I'd ever held or hosted a church service on a Sunday morning, sort of a pastoral role, I guess, but it was more evangelistic and many people came to know the Lord. And since that time, our radio program has developed incredibly 50 stations across the United States and in northern Mexico where hundreds of thousands of people are tuning in every day over a million people every week and the Lord is doing great things I got a phone call one particular day when an individual he was a alcoholic he was an alcoholic and he said to me you know I've reached the bottom of my rope I've I've, I've tried to I've tried to to change I, I've been in this program and that program and, and just driving down the road he he didn't really know the Lord he just tried different rehabilitation centers Centers. And he said, I listened to this message in Spanish and I decided to call the number. He said, I really need to give my life to Christ. And weeping on the, on the airwaves, he not only confessed the things that drove him into alcoholism and the hurt, the abandonment from his parents and so forth, but that day he gave his heart to the Lord and he was transformed. We plugged him into a Teen Challenge Center and today he is going through the process of being delivered. One thing I wanna highlight before we conclude is your pastor Troy has helped me and I wanna give you the opportunity to pray and also to give if you're so led to a great opportunity in Cuba. We are currently distributing 25,000 copies of a tremendous book called Power to Change, Poder para Cambiar. And Troy, Pastor Troy, did a fantastic job in his narration. He did a dub over for me, translating a phenomenal testimony of one particular individual who was in prison. And the very first book that he got in prison was Power to Change. This was 12 years ago. He got saved, he came out of prison, he got his credentials, and now he's working as a chaplain, distributing the same book that got him saved. So we are so thrilled that God would use all the things that he's using. He's using us. He's using you to change the world. And I'm just super excited. I'm so thankful. We couldn't do it without you. And I want to just simply say this before I conclude, that you are a gift to the kingdom of God. Thank you so much for your for your unwavering support. You are making the difference in, t in, the, in the lives of hundreds of millions of people around the globe. You are making such a tremendous difference. And one day, there's going to be a huge cloud of witnesses and they're going to come up to you as you come into the into the presence of the Lord in heaven and they're going to thank you and they're going to say you know what you don't know who I am but I just got to tell you because of your giving because of your praying because of your efforts going overseas all the things you've done for missions I'm here today because of what you've done and you're going to you're going to meet a tremendous family in heaven that is so grateful for your efforts. So thank you. Continue to pray with us. Continue to believe with us. Continue your partnership with us. And together we're going to see God do incredible things. May the Lord continue to bless you richly. 
All right, thank you, Jason and Cindy, this uh, incredible video. You know what? We want to give you, City View Church, the opportunity to give to our missions department or, or specifically give to Jason and Cindy. All you have to do is just go to our website, cityviewsd.com. Follow the giving section, and there you can just follow uh, the prompts to give to Jason and Cindy or to give to missions. Uh, but you know what? We're excited because as a church, we are up to date in our missions giving. So we want to thank you for your partnership, for your continued support, prayers for our missionaries. We together are doing a great thing. We want to keep it up. God bless you, and thank you for joining us this week for our mission segment.